Adam, absolute pleasure to talk with you, man. This movie's a blast. So thank you for taking the time. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for saying that. Of course. Now, now listen, I want to start here. If I were to ever, now that you've lived it, if I were to ever find myself stranded on Earth 65 million years ago, surrounded by dinosaurs, what is the number one key to survival? Uh, 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 a lot of weaponry, I would say. Like uh, <laughs> every laser gun that has been invented. If there was like a fingernail clipper size uh, laser gun, I'd use that. You know, I'd uh, wrap myself in you know, uh, heavy body armor, then I would just stay on the ship. You know, I wouldn't go out. Yeah. Not not, not a good time for exploring. Now, there, there's a, a lot of dinosaur films bring dinosaurs to the present day. In this one, it sends humans to the dinosaur day. In yes. what ways do you think flipping that dynamic brings a whole new sense of originality, but also a sense of terror? Well, yeah, it's unique. Everyone can kind of has probably imagined the scenario of existing, you know, at that time. And uh, also just being in an environment where you are at the bottom of the food chain, I think, you know, hits on everybody's prehistoric nerve that uh, of, uh, 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 you know, we were really enjoying it being at the top now, but that the end of our our day could end in like two giant lizards ripping you apart, I think is just uh, is a, a terrifying thought. Yeah, t tough, tough scene to be a part of. Now, sixty-five. Yeah. It looks like it had its fair share of uh, of of props and sets and immersive elements like that, and also its fair share of you know you, you can't barely bring a dinosaur to life. Uh, so I'd love to hear. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of your work in Star Wars. Which of the gal, which of the sets did you find to be more immersive? How do those two experiences compare? Well, I mean, Star Wars is different because it, it, even though there is a lot of green screen, they they build a lot of the sets. So it, it's all they did a good job in keeping it really practical. So it's easy to suspend disbelief. In 65, we did a lot of stuff everywhere that was really beautiful. But in particular, when we were in New Orleans in the swamp adds another level of there's there's a rat in New Orleans. I can't remember the name of it that. It it's it's the sound it makes is the sound of like a child crying. So at two o'clock in the morning, we would be shooting these sequences in the swamp, which already they have uh, crocodiles or alligators that are in the swamp. That their strategy to scare them is just to go through the swamp and make loud sounds and then say, "Trust us, there's they're they're all gone." But then there's this kind of rat that is there that is just making childlike. Uh, uh, sounds in the in the abyss in the black uh, you know of uh, uh, two o'clock in the morning so it's not hard to imagine that w what it would be like in prehistoric earth you know to be just hearing these in, uh, um, you know unidentifiable noises it, uh, it's easy to be terrified I'm terrified to uh, describing it to you that's unreal man that's unreal yeah. now I've noticed like there's a th this theme of of kind of a a, a male character kind of taking on a, like a, a de facto you know a, adopting a child in sort of like a very dangerous setting has become a very popular theme but they, they all have these very different kind of elements to them and 65 kind of echoes some of that why do you think that type of story is so popular right now I don't know. I don't. Maybe it's the idea of found family is something that we are resonating with over over facing this big thing like COVID. Maybe where it's this kind of in COVID instance, it's it's a uh, in, you know invisible uh, thing which makes it a different level of terrifying. But it, it but it is an enemy that is that there's no precedent for, which is exactly what these people in our story find themselves facing. Is they have, they are couldn't be from a more diverse. Uh, background and they are facing this common enemy that they have not seen before and through their own kind of and, and have lost people in different areas and because of grief is the thing that kind of binds them together and, and inevitably gives them hopefully uh hope uh so maybe that's maybe that's something this idea of uh you know uh families that you have but also these found families that you acquire is is always kind of a resonant theme i think dude thank you that's a great answer thank you so much for the time man i can't wait for everybody to see 65 it's a pleasure to talk to you thank you thank you same